Shaun the Sheep the Movie is a new film that's from Artemis Productions, and that's all you need to know. This film is about a sheep named Shaun who lives on a farm with many sheep and a dog named Blitzer. One day the farmer goes missing, and they have to go to London, I believe that's the city they live in, they have to go find him, and that's pretty much it. This movie's 85 minutes long, and like I said before, this is an Artemis production. Now, if you guys do not know who they are, they made films such as Chicken Run, Wallace and Gromit, Flushed Away, Pirates Band of Misfits, and After Christmas. And this is the new, like, stop-motion animated film from them, because After Christmas and Flushed Away were CGI animated films, while Chicken Run, Wallace and Gromit, and Pirates Band of Misfits were all stop-motion. And you can tell that this is an Iron Man production because of the way the animation looks. Now, I didn't know this movie was based on a TV show from England. I never heard this show. I never knew Shaun the Sheep was a show. I thought they just called it Shaun the Sheep the movie because Shaun the Sheep is like a generic title for a movie. So I didn't know that it was based on a popular TV show from England. I could see why they made a movie. And um, this movie has been getting critical acclaim. Like, it's getting a lot of positive reception, people. And I heard about it from a few movie reviewer acquaintances, and they said it was really good, so I decided to go check it out, and I gotta tell you guys, this movie was really, really entertaining. It was so funny, it was really charming, and it was very endearing, and there was like no dialogue. The way people talk in this movie, I'm gonna, just be right, here's how they talk. <laughs> No joke, that's how they talk. And it works pretty well for a movie with no dialogue. So, I really enjoyed the movie. It was really charming, it was really sweet, and it was so entertaining. That's why I go to whenever I see an anime movie. And it worked very well. It had some jokes for us teenagers and adults. When you see the movie, you'll know what I'm talking about. The animation is so well done. I love stop motion, and when it's done right, it's done perfectly well. There's always so much dedication when it comes to stop motion, and this film shows that 100%. So the animation is the best thing about this movie. The characters were so much fun. Sean is such a cool little sheep. Who doesn't want to experience a day like him? Like, he just wants to relax, and then when his farmer goes missing, he has to go set on the quest to find him. And the dog Blitzer 2 was pretty cool. I mean, I thought he was pretty funny. A lot of jokes in this movie worked very well. The animation was really well done. The characters were pretty good. And for a film without dialogue, I liked it. And I want to see that with The Good Dinosaur this year. Because supposedly, from the trailers, it looks like The Good Dinosaur is not going to have a lot of dialogue. And if that's the case, I'm curious to know how that's going to work. Because that's going to be... Probably Pixar's first movie with virtually no dialogue. But yet, Wally didn't have a lot of dialogue for like the first act. And then the second act... And third act happened, and it just kind of went downhill for me. But this movie was pretty good. I really liked it. I didn't love it like a lot of people are. But I really, really liked it. I could see this film getting nominated for the Best Anime Feature Oscar. And if it did, I wouldn't mind. I just hope it doesn't beat Inside Out, because Inside Out is the Best Anime Film of 2015. It will probably remain that. I don't see any other anime film taking that top spot. But if any other one does, I will be shocked. So this is the second best anime film I've seen so far this year. Shaun the Sheep movie gets a B plus. I guess now after seeing this movie, I kind of want to watch the show. Hopefully I can find some of it online. I guess we'll see. So guys, if you've seen this movie, please tell me what you thought of it down below. I just like how this anime movie was something that everyone can enjoy. Unlike Minions about a month ago, which was just for kids. And that movie was incredibly disappointing for me. Thank you so much for watching this review, guys. And I'll see you guys soon.